Hey and welcome back to a new video you might remember. In one of our previous videos we started testing some O11 Dynamic, I wouldn't call it fakes, but like inspired products. The previous one was from Intertech, it was called C701 and it turned out not to be that terrible. It was a case for about 80 bucks and I think it was quite okay for what you paid for. But now I received something where I think that was a bad decision to buy this. Seasonic, the heart of your system. Here you can see the product page from Amazon Germany where I ordered the case and yeah for some reason I kind of think that this product image somehow suggests that there are like a ton of RGB fans included. I'm not sure about that because there are not many details listed inside there but you can also see it's currently listed for 310 euro. I think I paid 360, it was a bit more at that time and I ordered it at the beginning of January so it took about two months to show up here which already made it a little bit suspicious. And looking at the details, I mean, you can't tell because it's German, but the translation says basically ATX, uh, yeah, computer case, but a case where you would put your clothes in, not like, like a suitcase, yeah, luggage, I don't know. And here we have the box, it just showed up. And I mean, you can obviously tell that it's from China, which is kind of obvious, you can see those signs, but that is also not a problem, I mean, I would say that 99% of the cases are made in China, which is absolutely fine. I have no issues with that. But if you order from Germany on like Amazon Germany and it tells you that it's a German seller and then it takes like eight weeks, which is kind of already suspicious. I could have probably already canceled it at that point. And then it showed up and I had to pay 70 euro custom fee. Yeah. But anyway, so we have the box right here and it says hand key, Apollo PC case, which is kind of weird because that is not what I ordered on Amazon, at least not what it was listed for, but you know, it's the MVP, so can't be that bad. But then I, I checked out this image, yeah. And this image kind of reminded me of the previous video. Yeah, that is a bit suspicious and not in a good way. I mean, right here, there was nothing listed with Hanky, MVP, Apollo, whatever. So in total, I paid 420 euro with custom fees and now that I have this bad feeling that it's exactly the same case as last time where I paid 80 euro, yeah, let's check it out. All right, I mean, we already have some RGB fans included, so it can't be that bad. It's not 100% identical case, at least, I mean, I don't know, but they were also opened, that, that, that is weird. That is also what I would expect from a 400 euro case. It's excellent uh, packing, packaging material and, oh God, it, it, it looks like it's the same case. Oh. Okay, so at least it says Hanky um, like RGB fans, so that could explain the naming scheme on the on the case packaging. Mrs. Sheik is also here to check out the case, see if she can investigate something. Yep, it is the same case. Well, I mean, we have MVP Apollo on here and the Hanky logo on the front. That is certainly worth additional 250 euro. Worst deal ever. This fan is also kind of funny. I mean, it has to be RGB because, I mean, just looking at the picture, I don't understand Chinese that well, but this is like white, green, blue, red, and then this should be RGB, right? But there is no RGB connector. It is just a fan connector. How? That is the true RGB fan because it is always RGB. It is always exactly this way. <laughs> there is nothing you can configure. It is just static light always like that. I mean, it, it looks kind of nice. I kind of like the... <laughs> Great. Yeah. It doesn't look bad, but yeah, it will just always look like that. No way you can change anything. So it seems like that this case is like a popular OEM product because apparently it's also not made from Intertech which would make absolute, absolute sense. Maybe it's like an OEM from Alternate in Germany, which is a big distributor, uh, but it could, could also be a different brand, I'm not sure, but for sure Intertech did not produce this case. The question is, if we can find out 
more on Alibaba. Maybe there is a way we can find something out. Yeah, it didn't take a lot of Sherlock Holmes work, but I mean, I just entered computer case window, which is like the, the dumbest thing you can probably search, but like on the first page, I can straight find this, which kind of looks, it looks suspiciously like the case we have. And there we already have exactly the same product which we ordered on Amazon. It's even the same, exact same product image. And if I would buy 10, I would pay $490 for it. After another like 15 minutes, I'm not sure if I found the manufacturer itself, but it's definitely one of the bigger sellers because he had multiple ads online for this case. That guy right here. And it's exactly the same product image again, but now it's listed at 35 US dollar. It even has the same name as Intertech used. Okay, so what I could find was a GNP Tech and a guy who sounds suspiciously uh, German. If we just scroll through, then we can also see they seem to exhibit at CES and CBIT and Computex. So that guy, apparently his name is Alexander Weise. I found his name on some of the product images and yeah. I mean, they claim that this is like a factory photo and that they're like the manufacturer of those cases. But then I've been in this industry long enough that this could also just be a guy who's like running through China and doing another OEM thing. But yeah, that is as far as I could get in the rabbit hole within like, I don't know, half an hour. So on the first video, I also got a lot of uh, replies and comments to check out the Talius Kronos, which is called apparently. And it was also very easy to find on Amazon. It was like the, the second or third case. If, if I entered O11 Dynamic, it was like the, the third case I could find. But yeah, I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay, and the next one. I wanted to save this for another like separate video, but uh, just just look at it. It is going to be the same case, but it looks better. I mean, the packaging, <laughs> the packaging looks better. Looks like they spent uh, $2.50 more on uh, the packaging itself and gave it a more unique name. Called it Kronos, maybe added some better fans. Not sure if the fans are actually included and if these are actually RGB fans, but it is going to be the same case, guaranteed. Well, at least it doesn't look like complete trash if you open it. Who would have thought? It is the same case. But where are my fans? Why are there only three fans? And why is everything else listing nine fans? Well, okay, I mean, it lists only three RGB fans on the product page, but it shows nine fans everywhere, which is kind of also misleading. Like, if, if I click on a product image and it just shows nine fans on everything, but you just get three, yeah. But then again, I mean, it is 130 euro for this piece of crap. But I also have to admit that I'm a little bit angry about myself because if I would have invested 15 minutes more like properly investigating the brands and like the product images and compare them, even though they're all using like different interiors on the advertising pictures on Amazon, you can, you can get that it's exactly the same case. I kind of missed that point, oh well. I just remembered that in the previous video there was somebody commenting that he owned the Talius, 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 Kronos case, whatever it's called. But it is so funny because it was exactly the same case as the one we reviewed last time and it, he didn't even notice that it was exactly the same case. Which just shows that you can get away with this stuff even though you're selling complete garbage. I mean, it is not garbage. For 80 euro, like the, the previous one, like the Intertech branded labeled case for 80 euro, that is okay. It is an okay price for the case, but paying like 130 for this one, just because it has like a black box and like three RGB fans, or 420 for the other one is a complete joke. It was a waste of time and a waste of money. Yeah, I'm not going to do the review of the actual case because it's just, it's exactly the same. But yeah, we'll probably just give them away. All right, thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye-bye.